We try to teach them life skills, how to survive in the United States. Um, really, we don't preach the gospel. We try to live it by, you know, what we do. This is kind of a faith-based uh, uh, organization. Um, insofar as we hope, we we hope we give them hope. So you don't what? have to be Catholic to stay here. I think of our 20, 20 people who are here, we have one Catholic. Mm. So, and we're not diocesan uh, supported. We're supported by the Sisters of Divine Providence who do a lot of fundraising uh, through our development office, through, um, through many uh, who donate. And of course, we're always in need. What would this $50,000, 25 for the diocese, 25 here, what would that mean and what would that do for you guys? What it would do, it'd be a miracle. <laughs> um, we, uh, right now, our dorm for men, we can accommodate 12, 12 men. And we have two septic tanks, 500 gallons, and they're 18 years old. So we've had, a, uh, there, right now we have 16, I think 16 men. Some are on cots and some are on couches, but we never turn anyone away. And our, um, our sewage system is really bad. It you know backs up when there's too many using. I think uh, many of the I've gotten quotes for three uh, you know on three tanks or three different companies, and they claim that uh, for every individual, 245 gallons of water a day. Uh, that's oh, a lot. Gosh. But imagine we only have a thousand gallon tank, two two five hundred gallon tanks. Would you get to keep any of the money for it to do anything for yourself? Well, not for myself. What, what's for myself is for La Posada because we have other needs. Our, as you travel down our driveway, there are many potholes and we can ra rarely, I don't think we, we have applied for different grants mm -hmm. and um, a, 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 doing a road is not one of their priorities. It's providing food and providing shelter. But you would be okay with the money going on towards the shelter? Yes, oh, we would welcome it. Anything else that you want to add about yourself in this, I don't know if you want to call it service or not, it's not ministry, but. Well, every time we pick up someone. Recently, um, we have done an outreach. And um, an outreach means that we pick up somebody who's stranded at the bus station, provided they're documented. And um, since April 1st, we're in our third day, we have picked up 23. And an increase. Uh, an increase, and we have <coughs> only space for five or six women. So each time we receive six or eight or ten, or like the other night, we received 12. We turn our dining room into um, a dorm. We have to, uh, you know, stack our chairs, our tables, and put down couches or cots or whatever. Um, fortunately, that, that area, the building there, is uh, our main building, and it does have a shower. Thank you so much, Can sister. You say the list of countries of people staying here. Uh, over the last 24 years, we have served more than 6,000 people, and they have been from 70 countries. Over 70, 70. Countries. Right now, we have three or four from um, from Mexico. Oh, no, we only have one from Mexico. Two or three from Honduras. Uh, five from Guatemala. Three from three from. Um, uh, El, uh, El Salvador. We have uh, a mother and a child. Her husband, when they crossed the border, is, uh, was taken uh, into detention. And uh, uh, this lady is eight months pregnant. She has a five-year-old. So the families are split. Mm -hmm. That's really sad to see that. So mostly from Central American countries? No, no. Currently, uh, currently we have Ethiopians, Rwandans, uh, Eritreans, uh, uh, wow. Central America. Yes, we do have some, but we get a lot from Africa, Nigeria, Nepal, um, uh, Somalia, Ethiopia. Wow. And they all find their way here to our little valley? Well, yes, they find our way, their way here because, as I said, they're victims of persecution, political or religious persecution, and um, their lives are in jeopardy. So uh, as they cross the border, since they don't have a visa, uh, they're apprehended by Border Patrol. And the women are, uh, since there's no place for women here, no detention centers, they're documented and through pro bono lawyers and immigration. That's where we have, that's where our clients come from. Sister, so can you explain 